finishing his studies in Georgia and inspired by his uncle Tom Gordy, who served in the United States Navy, the young Jimmy Carter left his hometown to explore the world. In 1943, sir, you accepted to the Naval Academy in Annapolis. What did the Navy years teach you? What did you experience? Well, of course, I was able to go around the world, you know, on the ship. I was a submarine officer as well. So I visited China and, and Japan and the Philippines and Australia and, and also parts of Europe and the Caribbean. So I, that's one thing I learned from it. And, and I would say another was how to get along well with people who were diverse from me, but on whom each person's life depended on the other's intelligence and capability and attention to duty. And in addition, discipline and how it uh, is necessary to orchestrate your duties and to carry them out acceptably, not only to yourself, but to superior officers. So I think uh, maybe that bored me well when I was running for president and making 10 or 12 speeches every day and, and working from daybreak or before daybreak until late at night. So I think, uh, you know, another reminder of hard work and, and discipline. In 1946, Jimmy Carter married his childhood sweetheart, Rosalind Smith, and the couple, along with their young family, settled into naval life, with Jimmy rising to the rank of lieutenant. However, a personal tragedy took him back to his roots. You had to leave the Navy in 1953 when your father passed away to come back and run the family farm. Was that a difficult transition for you, Rosalind, and your young family? It really was uh, difficult because I had the best job in the Navy. I was in charge of one of the two uh, nuclear submarines being built at that time. And it was a choice assignment for any young officer of my, my, my rank. And it was a very torturous decision for me to make. I never had thought about it before. When I got back where I was working, and it's connected in New York, I told my wife I was, they planned to leave the Navy. She was very angry. In fact, later when we drove home from connected in New York to Plains, Georgia, seven hour drive, she never spoke to me on the way. Uh, if she had to go to the restroom, she would tell our oldest son, tell your father I need to stop at the restroom. She would, and she, she was very uh, upset about going back to a little tiny town of Plains.